Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we're going to show you how to drill PDC and also holes for your side view cameras. As many of you know, we do a lot with M Sport conversion bumpers and with the kits on our website, you have the option to get PDC pre-drilled or you can have it plain if you don't have PDC today. But with our kits and with many other kits on the market, you don't have the option for the side PDC if you have that or also the side view cameras, but it's actually a very easy process and I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So typically to do this process, you're going to use one of two main tools. I prefer a punch and this is an 18 millimeter punch. Whenever you're doing this, you always wanna practice on something other than your bumper for your first time just to double check that fitment. Make sure BMW didn't change anything. Or you can use something like a stepped bit like what I have in my hand here. And as you can see, there's different size ratings depending on what ridge you wanna to go to. So it's pretty cool because you have the option to have all of these drill bits in one. So today we're gonna to show you how to use this and also how to use the punch. Now one of the big questions that we get is where do I drill the PDC hole? Well, on BMW OEM bumpers and on our bumpers, it's actually pre-marked. So as you can see, there's a circle with an X and a circle with an X. The one on top is PDC and the one below is for side view cameras. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to drill these out for side cameras just in case anybody actually needs this bumper one day. We'll have it all set up so I don't want to drill just useless holes. But basically what I like to do is I like to take a punch and I like to get it right in the middle. And I'm just going to put a little small indent just so I have something to drill on. Then what I'm going to do is take a 5 16th drill bit and just very carefully drill a hole in the bumper. Then what you want to do is you want to get your punch. You want to push it through. And then you're going to take your little die here. And you're going to very carefully start to thread that on. And then once it gets to a point, what I do is I just twist the bolt from behind, just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a six millimeter hex and just carefully twist it. And it's going to pull the punch through the bumper and give us a perfect circle for side cameras. And as you can see, this is a BMW OEM punched hole right here. And that's ours. Everything is perfectly smooth, perfectly round. It's the right size and it's exactly what you need. So as you can see, the punch, that, this is why it's my preferred method. It's super, super clean and you really can't go wrong with it. Let's do the exact same thing on the other side, but this time we will use a stepped drill bit instead. Then for these, what I like to do is I like to drill a pilot hole. This is a 3 16 that I'll be using. Now with this, again, we need to go 18 millimeter. I have three different options. We can either use this one that goes from four to 22, or this one goes only to 18. So with this one, what I really like about it is you can't go too far where with this one, if you start to go too far, it's going to start to round the outside and it's not going to look good at all. So since this one stops at 18, we're going to use this one. So at this time, we're going to drill from the outside in to make the cleanest hole possible. I'm just gonna clean it up from the other side. Okay. And here you can see the hole that we drilled with the step bit. While both drilling options do a great job, I really think that the PDC punch does a little bit better. So if you take a look, 
I feel like the paint is more like rounded in and the plastic is, is cut and pulled in a little bit. Where with the drilled, I feel like it's more of just a cut edge. Um, again, both options work fine, especially if you haven't painted yet. But if the bumper is already painted, I would highly suggest the punch. So here's a look at what that looks like. And here's what it looks like with the step drill. Now, if your car does have PDC and also side cameras, what you can do is take a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver or something. And all you need to do is just lift up on this holder. And as you can see, BMW just uses some 3M tape to hold it down. So once you pop this off, you can just put some 3M adhesive on the back, just the, the 3M molding tape. Then once you've relined your holder with 3M tape, all you wanna do is just line up the holes. Put that on there. But once you've installed that, you can install your side camera or if you have PDC, you can install that after it's drilled. And as you may expect, in addition to the side camera and also the PDC holes on the side, BMW actually marks all of the holes out in the inside of the bumper. So if you're doing something like a PDC retrofit on your car, all of these holes are pre-marked, whether it's on one of these bumpers or on one of our bumpers. Now, if you are doing a PDC retrofit on your car, something to be careful with is make sure that you have the right size hole. So as you'll notice on this base bumper, the holes on the front and also the side are all the same, where on most M Sport bumpers, they're different. You'll notice that the two on the outer are smaller like this, but the two on the inner are a little bit larger. So let's take a shot of my car and I'll show you exactly what we mean. Hopefully today's video was helpful to you if you are looking to add PDC or side cameras to your bumper. And for all of the tools and products we use in today's video, be sure to see the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit, performance, and aesthetic needs. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching and have a great day.